cool. So good afternoon, handy listeners, handy viewers, such as you are. Um, it is after midday. This is not an April Fool. We have a new Brewers captain. Um, so we, after a little bit of discussion amongst ourselves, ourselves, of course, being my, my usual co-host, Mr. Connor Rooney. Hello. <laughs> and Mr. Panzer Harris. Hello. I'm not going to impersonate him anymore. I sound awful. Uh, fair enough. Um, we are going to set ourselves 15 minutes on clock to discuss um, each of the of this new captain and may, if we release other podcasts this week's mayhaps we will do the same thing again if if of course yes if so without much further ado i will start my clock so i'm gonna immediately jump in on this big fella because he is the best boy um corker he has most native tack in guild which i'm very happy about although he does therefore have the longest playbook in guild which i'm less happy about um only a 2-4 influence, 5-7 movement is quite quick. His playbook is nicely pushy-downy, knocky, movie aroundy with momentous damage only at the top because we're not Masons. Iron Fist, Tough Skin, Whiskey Chaser adding a knockdown to the next playbook damaging... Sorry, next playbook result. Um, and that, that's a target-friendly model rather than other. So he can do it to himself. 24 health. All knocked down Brewer models engage targets. Hooray. More on that later, because that's bound to cause some confusion. Legless drunk. Whenever he suffers damage, he gets a D6 push away. So not First time each turn. First time each turn. Thank you. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> which, which I, you know, I love this, because I love the idea of this is going to set up some of the most hilarious parting blow goal runs you can imagine. Um, <laughs> as, as you run out of people's engagements going, going, do you want to hit me? Do you? Do you? Excellent. An extra one inch. The answer is no. No, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and his new heroic play, free bar, four inch pulse. Brewers, we're used to playing in four inch auras. This is absolutely fine. Um, he hands out beer tokens to any non mascot guild model. Coming along with this is the Brewers new the new Brewers uh, Guild rule, uh, basically giving the details of beer tokens that you would normally see on the back of Pint Pot's card to everyone else, and everyone apart from Pint Pot being able to hold a maximum of two. I'm very happy. I imagine you are both very bored by this captain. More terrified because the amount of Brewers I have to face locally, and now I'll. Oh, we can have, what is it, five attack Hooper, six attack that decimates, knock down Dirty Knives on Friday, knock down Stagger on three is back for decimate. That's like, yes, oh, it no. Is. no, 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 not this again. Uh, knock down, knock down on one, I quite like with Spigot, just for, for those, <laughs> yeah. for, those for, for the hoists and the Corsair and the hearths of this world, yeah. um, that you're immediately being sat down. Um I think it's interesting. I still think Esther's is the best captain in Guild. Yeah, I don't expect to see much Corker myself, uh, as I tend to play football league guilds, and I don't think you should play Corker in those matchups. Um, but, man, he looks really strong into fighty teams to me. Yeah, he does. And I like... Um... Tapper has not fared well in season four, which is a shame because I really like using Tapper and you know, having the momentous triple push and the momentous four damage at the top of his playbook does get work done. But um, yeah, I, he's Estes has just kind of replaced him as a utility pick, especially you know you take Estes when you kick and you want to be kicking because you want Vet Decimate to be bringing someone back to your lines. Tap has kind of been an okay receiving pick, and I think Corker kind of was going to slot in and take his his job and just do the same kind of things, but in a more fun way. He's um got definitely one of the most interesting influence stats for a captain. Mm. Yeah, the two four influence stack is fine because he's mainly quite supporty, um, and of course it's not true as long as you can get his free bar off every turn he's really bringing considerably more influence. And I know it's a four-inch pulse, but a four-inch pulse either side of a model is a huge... You know, you're talking a good nine inches of real estate on on the pitch. And as I said before, like as a Brewers player, you are used to playing in four-inch bubbles. 
Yeah, I was looking at him thinking, you know, maybe the turn one might not be so good, but it's, well, actually, if you get the momentum for the kickoff or you get your first pass going early, then he can just, he can start turn one, right, everybody have some beer. Well, the biggest thing Rich pointed out to me that I didn't realize, even though it should be obvious when you think about Pint Pot, is that he can just bank all those beer tokens turn one and use them on turn two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just to be really, really clear on this, beer tokens wrap turns. Like, they don't disappear. Yeah. It's not a sustained effect. It's not a condition. They don't resolve. They're there until you use them. And, like, theoretically, a beer token is better than a free heroic because a beer token is a free heroic or hmm. a free character play or a free attack. Like, it's, it is better but harder to achieve. With, with Cork, it, it's... The upside is really, really up. You know, the idea of a five attack Hooper. A five attack Hooper kills anyone. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Th- there's, every everyone is dead to a five attack Hooper. Um, a six attack vet decimate is, you know, where where which part of the pitch do you, which part of the pitch do you want to push them off of? You know, you, you've got the choice. That's just it. Like the the highs are really really high, but I think it's much swingier than the area that Esther's gives you. So my question, mm. uh, as someone who doesn't play Brewers, how many character plays that cost more than one are in the faction? Um. So you got like Lob Barrel. Yeah. So he can get a pretty efficient Lob Barrel in Corker as well as Esther's then. Yes. Corker has to go first, being a big disadvantage, or yes. you having it from the previous turn. Uh-huh. But that's um, like that's still pretty good. Dirty knives. Um, I think you'll f- see the dirty knives one a lot, actually. Um, as as Ben mentioned, I think the dirty knives triggered from the playbook, so it's a knockdown. Dirty knives is a hilarious result. Um, it's more of a dirty. <laughs> it's more of a dirty claymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, smashing face on pint pot. Um, I mean, that's always been the thing that he's used. Yeah, uh, yeah he can just reset it, can he? Yeah, flame jet. So that that, that is, brings is... up an interesting question, actually. Is pint pot limited to the five he brings? Six or could he brings. He get up to, or six he brings, or could he get up to eight? Oh, his his thing, as far as I understand it at this point, and um, this, you know, maybe later on we'll see more clarity on this. Is Pint Pot has his six. That's that's his special thing is that he can have six um, beer tokens. So mm-hmm. and then the guild rule of beer tokens takes over at that point. Okay. So uh- he can ostensibly just get more and more beer. <laughs> <laughs> You can keep topping him up during the game. Yeah, uh, exactly. Corker's also interesting because his four influence cap uh, and long playbook, so it takes a while to get to the mom three. Doesn't it makes him probably the worst damage dealer of the three Brewers captain in most situations. Um, um I I would think so. It depends. <laughs> But it, 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 it does depend because with Iron Fist, he's essentially a non momentous two on one. Um, which so is Esther's, to be fair. So is Esther's, yes, but she doesn't have the ability to give her the character play for free. That's true. Um, so, where, like, Corker can have a seven influence, like, turn three can be a seven influence turn for Corker. You start with four influence on him and two beer tokens, spend them however you wish, and then heroic play to give yourself more beer tokens. So, he mm-hmm. can have that seven influence um, turn three, or it, it, the earliest you'd be able to do it in the game is turn three. He, um, it does feel like he's got, like, a lot of those character plays are going to be occasionally useful. But outside of Whiskey Chaser, I think they're more of a situational choice and not what he's going to be doing every turn. Yeah, I think Whiskey Chaser is the big winner here. Yeah, that that's an incredible play. Yeah, because uh, you know, and also it's friendly guild model. You can put it on Scum if you want to be, because <laughs> everyone loves that cat as it is. Um... No, no, they don't. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to see that. I think you're going to see that on Hooper a lot because he sometimes struggles to get the knockdown. 
compared to other that, well that's well it's, it's not just that it's because you hooper wants a knocked down target mm. which therefore makes everyone's priority not to have a knockdown down target around hooper so when exactly. you do go in for that first attack and let's say you you know you attack seven you hit the five net hits you really want to take the momentous four but you take the column they take the third column for the knockdown to set up the further attacks well now it's a momentous four knockdown so you know you're you're not having to forgo your initial um your initial attack for just a knockdown you can do damage with it as well and i think that's quite big um Mm. equally the the knockdown stagger on decimate is a thing of beauty and and all should welcome its return also just because of the way um legless drunk works i think you really want to be throwing some damage character plays at this guy after he's activated to try to pop it so you at least know where he's going to end up for the rest of the yeah, turn. Yeah, because it, it's first turn. It's not. It's first time, rather. It's not May. It happens. Yeah, thank God. Um, very quickly, before we run out of time, Spit and Sawdust, read the knockdown rules. Um, <laughs> like yeah. The knockdown rules changed in 4.1, probably because this guy was coming, and none of us noticed, because why would we notice a change to the knockdown rules? It's been knocked down since it started. The ability to make tax and the ability to make attacks and engage a target are now two separate points within it. So mm-hmm. just because these models are engaging people does not mean they can make parting blows. Does not mean they can make attacks. You'll still crowd out and um, provide gang ups for attacks and affecting kick rolls and character plays. If you are knocked down, you cannot make an attack under any situation currently in the game. Right, like. Really, 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 you can't. You just can't. You, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that you will can't. come up early, but it uh, will. Yeah, as you say, it's now. It's in the. It's in the rule book. Reread the rule book. Reread the rules for knockdown. They have changed. It made you know no peel of difference when the the change happened, but now it is quite significant. I imagine yeah. this thread has already started on Gubs. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, twelve oh one, thirty yeah. pages. Yeah, and most not all of it should be Chris Tamplin, but still. Hey, um, Corker will probably replace Tapper in my twelve. Yeah, I can see that. Um, because he's new and shiny and fun, and he does things in an interesting way, which is always welcome. Um, he's actually not slow either. Uh, five seven move with a three six kick. That's quite good for us. Mm. Um, it's not Friday or Spigot, of course, but it's you know it's not unreasonable because that's a four-seven kick under um, football legend. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, gents, anything else we want to have a look at Corker before the timer goes off? I think I'm good. Yeah, I shall. Uh, I imagine you are both holding your enthusiasm for another day. Should we be recording another one? Who knows?